When you have long, flowy, thin hair like this on a green screen, there's a lot of little fine hairs that are almost invisible, but they add to the detail of the scene. So you really don't want to lose that detail. You want to keep that there, but it's pretty difficult. So I'm going to show you an insider trick on how to fix this. First thing I'm going to do is grab my key light effect. And I'm going to drag it onto my clip. And I'm going to key out the green. So at first glance, you might say, wow, this is amazing. The job is done. But wait, there's more to do. So I'm gonna go to my screen mat, and this is usually what I do. You can see that all this shadow and all this kind of garbage around, you wanna clean that up. So we're gonna bring our clip black up, so our background is completely black, which means it's transparent. So typically what I do with the hair is to maintain all the detail, is I bring my, I change my clip white, so everything on there is white without the background creeping in. So that's a typical key, how it would look if, you know, you just shot an object in front of a green screen, but when hair comes into play, it's a little bit different. So I'm gonna show you how it works with hair. So let's go back to the final results. If you look at the before and after, all the main hair is there. But if you look real closely, you'll see the end of the hairs start to get lost. All those fine, very thin hairs, almost semi-transparent. So you know that, you know, they're, they're gonna get lost. And before we continue, if you like this video, tap that like button so it could spread out to more viewers like you. Okay, so I got my main layer here. I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna lock it so I can't make changes to it. And then my bottom layer, has the same key light effect as well. And what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm gonna bring my adjustments down a little bit. So I'm gonna bring this down to about 30. I'm gonna bring this down to about 58. And I'm gonna use my shrink grow and I'm gonna bring this all the way up to about 40. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure my replace method is at soft color, and my replace color is at 50% brightness. Then I'm gonna go to my composition settings, and I'm gonna make sure my background color is changed from black to that same 50% gray. Then I'm gonna bring the curves effect onto my bottom layer, and I'm gonna bring up the Lumetri scopes, just to get a better eye. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust this curves effect so it matches the background 50% gray color. So you could see in my Lumetri scope, basically until this line meets this line. So this might take a little fine tuning Okay, that looks pretty good. The line looks pretty flat. So I'm gonna close that. So now I'm going to add my background. So now I go to my middle layer and I change my blending mode to hard light. The fine little hair fibers are back into the scene. So if you take a look at the before and after, here's a before and here's the after. So you can see a lot of the details are back thanks to that little handy trick. So now once we have that set, what we could do is we could mess around with some color correction. I'm gonna add a little inner glow to this. Then we'll make this, this a purplish color. So it blends in with the lights in the back. And I could also add my Lumetri color effect and I could change the tone and the contrast of my subject, I could give her a little bit more of a magenta tint, and I could add any other stylistic effects that make her blend in with the background scene. Keep in mind that the placing of your green screen and the lighting play a crucial role in getting a good key in post-production. If you don't have a clean, even background, you're going to spend a lot more time trying to get things right. Well, that's a wrap on our tutorial on keying hair and After Effects. We hope you like this video and we hope this helps your videos in the future. 
If you guys want to see more of our tutorials like rotoscoping and retouching blemishes in video, then check out our other tutorials. See you next time.